next guest's life has been quite the journey. He overcame addiction and living in his car to become America's motivator for healthy living and weight loss. Incredible. He's an author and was the host of Extreme Weight Loss. Now he has a new podcast called I Needed That, all about improving your life on the inside and out. It's perfect if you're already trying to reignite your New Year's resolutions that you may have already quit by now. Let's welcome Chris Powell, everybody. <laughs> This podcast, is it kind of like a reset for you? It is. It's, it's, uh, I consider it kind of my second mountain, actually, after the show. You know, I spent 20 years helping people find themselves through fitness, mm. and I actually went through my own difficult mental health battle. Um, I went through a divorce, and oh, saw me too. Yeah. it really, it, I, I found myself in a really dark place. I went through six therapists in five years, and um, I full extreme ownership of it. I, I became the worst version of myself. Mm. And I just realized that it was, it was time to separate. And, and as I went through that though, um, it was just emptiness and loneliness and all of that. And so sure enough, I, I, I ended up um, realizing the power of mental health when it comes to transformation. And so yes, like this, this whole thing, it really is a, it's, it's a, the second mountain for myself just because mm. I can't have this conversation about transformation, about physical health and all that without talking about mental health, because it's, when you talk, you know, it's health, powerful. it's everything in one. It's a holistic approach to transformation now. And so, and, and I didn't realize that until going through my own battle and, you know, utilizing different tools like breathing, mm -hmm. gratitude, and talking about it with other people. I can't stress that enough. And that's, that's what, where the podcast has been, become so important for me because it's, it really is, it's kind of part of my recovery. Oh, talking for me is the same, I mean, obviously I've talked to her, but I just, it's the same thing for me. It's, that's how I almost figure it out is by talking with people. I'm, I like learn about myself while like hearing myself say something loud, like, wait, did I, did I mean that? Or did I, what, what is that? And also like, with mental health, I think people think like, oh, you know you're sad. The, the hardest part is you don't know you're depressed or sad sometimes. You don't catch it and you, you can't recognize that at first. And so when, that's why I talk to someone too, like during my divorce and, and still do because it's really healthy, I think, to have somebody outside your circle. But, but you launched, I want to talk about this because you also launched a nonprofit. So can you tell us a bit about that and why? So uh, service, you know, service, especially when you're going through a difficult time. You spend so much time thinking about yourself, but you realize like, how powerful it is when you start to serve others. And that was one of the biggest things that really helped me find myself again. Mm -hmm. And it was in the middle of, of the pandemic and qu quarantine, people weren't moving. And obviously mental health issues were through the roof. And I was so inspired by something that happened in Japan. This is a crazy story. Back in 1928, they, they mandated uh, three and a half minutes of movement done to music. It's movement and music together. And it was the same 13 movements done to the same music every day. Every factory, every, every school, every corporation, they all moved at the same time. And in one generation, Japan became the healthiest country in the world and they united. What? Yes, it's called Ragio Taiso. It means radio calisthenics. It's powerful. It changed the it's country. It's 13 movements and it's only like a couple minutes it's, every morning? It's three and a half minutes long. And, so, and, and I was so inspired by that. I, and, and, and sure enough, here we are, 94 years later, 27 million still do Raja Otaiso every single day, and they continue to be the healthiest country in the world. And I was like, we need this now. I what, need this now. What? what? Yes, what? We, we do. I so, want to know these movements. Yeah. I started my nonprofit Move One Million, and it's two and a half minutes because who's got three and a half minutes nowadays, yeah. right? So <laughs> it's 13 movements, just to pay tribute to the 13 from, from, the, from Japan. But yeah. I created the music. I actually wrote and played the music for it. And I take oh. us, it, it's a total body warm up, top to bottom. And I mean, it, it's, it's absolutely the, the impact that it's had. Schools have started adopting it. We launched it in 2021. Schools have been adopting it. Hospitals, we've got 100,000 people moving in 71 countries now for two and a half minutes a day. And it's, it's been incredible. I think that's incredible. It's so simple yet effective. That's it. Yeah. Lower the barrier of entry. And sure yeah. enough, and everyone can do it. And a body in motion tends to, tends to remain in motion. I'm going to do this and you're going to come back. And I'm going to be like so changed. Oh, I love it. In fact, <laughs> have me back and I want to move everybody. We'll I know. have a blast. I think, I'm down for that. I Let's think go. that's cool. Well, Chris's <laughs> podcast, I Needed That, co-hosted by Matthew Blades, is available on all streaming platforms, everybody.